Welcome home, Cher. Get rid of it. I never want to see it again. What are you talking about, Cher? The plane, Alfred. But Master White, you love this plane. No, I hate that plane. It's a slow plane. Just destroy it. It's not just your plane. It's your father's plane. <laughs> and it's all that's left of him. Don't destroy it. Fine. Then get rid of it. I, I don't know. Send it to Spider-Man. Who cares? Just get it out of my sight. And now there's an idea. Spider-Man could use a good plane. <sighs> this world. It's rotten, Alfred. Rotten to the core. It's just full of people who kill your parents and fly faster than your plane. You know, the one thing that made me happy. The one thing that I liked was being more powerful than everyone else. Soaring godlike in the sky, blasting laser-guided precision missiles, quibbling misguided youngsters that I'd never met. <laughs> made me feel like I was worth a damn. But if I can't even fly faster than Superman, <laughs> might as well die. Come on then, sir. Cheer up. You know, there's more to life than senseless violence and extravagant peacocking. Like what? We're like family and friends. Thanks, sir. Who do you like spending time with? The Joker. But he's in heaven now. With mom and pops. Making them laugh, I just know it. <laughs> Closest thing that I have to a friend is you. But I pay you. Apples and pears. But, uh, surely there's somebody else. What about your work friends? <laughs> I've never worked a goddamn day in my life. You know that, Alfred. Because the only person I ever see over at Wayne Enterprises is... Lucius Fox. Yeah. He's always making me planes and tanks and guns and stuff. That means he's my friend, right? Well, there you go. One friend. <gasps> Things aren't as bad as they seem. Yeah! Why, I haven't talked to him in a dog's age. I'll give him a call right now. Oh, uh, right now. Well, perhaps I should leave the room first. No, Alfred, you stick around. You can say hi, too. He'll no. love it. No, wait, sir. Sure. Please. <sighs> I have a confession to make, sir. You're not the only one with a secret identity. <laughs> Turn around. <gasps> The other way. What? That's right. Lucius Fox and Alfred Pennyworth are the same person. You see, when I was stationed in Burma with your father, this was before the war, I made a promise. I swore that if anything ever happened to him, I would pretend to be your butler. So I, Lucius Fox, took up the guise of Alfred Pennyworth so I could give you words of wisdom 24-7, eight days a week, at work and at home. So, all those times that you cleaned the entire mansion? A ruse. And my laundry? I just throw them out at the end of the week. I buy you new clothes. <laughs> so what you're saying is that I, I don't have one friend after all. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred! How can you do this to me? You got my hopes up so high and then you mugged and shot them in an alleyway. Ugh. Turns out that I can't even trust you after all. You're fired, you old fraud. Get the hell out of the back cave. Well, if that's what you bloody want, then fine. Fine. Good. Great. You wouldn't last a day without me. Oh, I will too. What a bet. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck, fuck you! Good riddance. I don't need.
need any stupid. Alfred. <laughs> Wait. Oh, what have I done? Top of the morning, sir. Oh. <laughs> Who are you? And how did you get into the Batcave? Oh, me? Um, well, the agency just sent me over. I'm, um, I'm watching Spacey's replacement. <sighs> My name is O'Malley, the Irish butler. Good to meet you, O'Malley. I'm Batman. And I'm in a bad mood. And... Gosh, the cave is a mess. Now, it's a nice cave. You know, before the war, your father used these tunnels to help build the Underground Railroad. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like to be alone? I am alone. This is what it means to be Batman. Darkness. Solitude. This is the life that I have chosen. Nay. The life that has chosen me. <laughs> Poor Master Bruce. He's such a dark, sad, lonely, melancholy man. Poor Master Bruce, poor Mr. Wayne, lonely caboose on a one car train. And it pains me to watch you amble along This track of loneliness all I down for you I remember that horrible night The night you were split in two And I swore I'd protect you And I haven't So I built a wall all around you But the wall was too tall and it blocked out all At the birds in the sun I tried to raise you right I tried to raise you proper I tried to be a mentor and a friend And a mother and a father too And insulate you from Any outside source of fright I make bloody sure That you'll never see another dark shadow When I look at my life, I see something's not right Like a thousand percent And I wonder what it is, how it is That it's always just me here crying alone at the end of the night A ten thousand percent I put most of the blame on Alfred How come he couldn't take that bullet intended For Mama and Papa I never had a pony, I never had pets Just a bullshit butler who builds bullshit jets Oh, pom pom the pot, I need a friend Somebody to hold on to, somebody to confide in Think of the children, next time you go down the mama and papa Literally mama and papa because they probably don't have another mama and papa. I was seeing a girl for a while, a couple days anyway, and I told her I loved her. Oh, oh, oh. She said, You're such a good friend, and that patch is bad. You should probably go see your doctor. Oh, oh. Then she just disappeared Sent me some text about that time And yet my love being selfish Oh, oh, oh Then the doctor called up And the blood came back And as it turns out I'm allergic to peanuts and shellfish I love peanuts and shellfish once I'm falling apart stop, stop. I'm lacking punch stop, stop. I can barely eat stop, stop. This morning I'll barely Two spoons of oatmeal A couple of nuts and half a banana Like 
episode The Banana What's thousand like? <laughs> I'm falling apart I need a friend Somebody to hold on to Somebody to confide in Somebody to ride in The cockpit Go captain of a friendship ship Or maybe just a friendship But if I had a buddy We would discuss Just what we call friendship I wanna be somebody's buddy Somebody who could be my buddy back I wanna be somebody's buddy Anybody but a dumb shit butler I wanna be somebody's buddy Somebody who can be my buddy back I wanna be somebody's buddy Anybody but a dumb shit butler I wanna be somebody's buddy Somebody who can be my buddy back I wanna be somebody's buddy Anybody but a bumbling bumbling I wanna be somebody's buddy Somebody be my buddy back I wanna be somebody's buddy Anybody but a dumb shit bumbling I wanna be somebody's buddy Somebody be my buddy back I wanna be somebody's buddy Anybody but a bumbling bumbling I wanna be somebody's buddy. Somebody who can be my buddy back. I wanna be somebody's buddy. Master Percy's companionship. But when is a young, handsome man going to meet friends in the year 1997? Oh, Mally, get with the times. The personal ads, of course. Let's see here. Single, white female, seeking old English butler for a good time. Ooh, I'll just keep that one. Put it in my pocket. Save it for a rainy day, I will. Let's see, dogs for sale. Now, orphans for sale, even better. By the luck of the Irish O'Malley, you've done it again. <laughs> 